Yo guys, Jonathan here and welcome to the 2017 office tour. So by far, one of the biggest changes from the last office tour, which crazy enough was two years ago, is the giant wall behind me. Back then it was empty, pure white. It could be a little intimidating and overwhelming because of how massive it looked. But since then, we've painted it in this really nice dark gray color, which I love because it absorbs pretty much any color you throw at it. So this right here has kind of become the product table where we shoot a lot of the B-roll for the videos. Got a couple of target lamps in the back here, although there are some very similar ones on Amazon in case you're looking for a style like this. Now, as far as the lamps go, I'm sure by now you've seen them in many of my videos. They're both from Tommins. This is technically the newer model, whereas the white one has got that classic Toy Story Pixar action, but I really like the contrast, the black and the white. And then like I was talking about, the gray wall really absorbs the color. So I got a couple of hue bulbs in each of these, splash them against the wall, pair that with a light strip and you got a really cool looking combo. Now, one of the things I've been wanting to do forever is outfit this entire space with Philips Hue. And I can now say we have successfully done that. So giant shout out to Philips for sponsoring this office tour and making that a reality. So instantly through voice, you can turn every single light in this place off. Turn off all the lights. I really like Google Home because it is super responsive at changing colors. Turn all the lights purple. And then lastly, the Amazon Echo works fantastic if you want to instantly change scenes. Turn on Savannah Sunset downstairs. Now jumping back over here, you're probably wondering what this crazy setup is, and it's actually a custom Xbox console that was built by Chris over at Four Eyes Furniture. We've kind of turned it into this little product showcase area with that classic circle LED, a really awesome sounding speaker from Name. This is actually custom right here. We got a crispy AF and a TLD logo. Huge shout out to Dan and Lincoln over at What's Inside. We got that cut in half golf ball action. And then this is the giant Xbox One collection. So if you want to see more of that, Mr. Kevin Kenson just did this crazy Ultimate Xbox setup that I'll link to here and also down below. Moving along, this is my desk right here. And the one thing you'll notice is I wanted to keep things kind of uniform. So we've used the IKEA Opa Bay, and I'm probably slaughtering that name across all of our desks here. These are some of my favorite looking tops. I've always really liked the glossy look from Ikea. So these are a little bigger, a little wider, give you a little more room to play with. Then that pair with the legs, which are actually technically a dark brown, looks super classy. Back at it again is Mr. Toy Story Pixar lamp from Tommins, little Homer Buddha. I'm not sure if he's still available, but I will link him along with everything if I can find it down below. Now recently I've got a ton of questions on what speakers do I use, and these right here are the Atom Artist 3s, and by far they are my favorite sounding pair of speakers. They are incredible. Kind of got a little hack here going in the sense that these are actually audio engine speaker stands, but they work really well with the Atoms. My mouse of choice right now is the Logitech MX Master paired with a wireless Apple Bluetooth keyboard. That is being powered by a 2016 MacBook Pro straight into an LG Ultrafine 5K display. I talked about it a little bit in my latest What's in My Bag video, but this has been my setup. I'm not using an iMac, I'm not using a Mac Pro. This is my desktop when I'm here, and then I just take the MacBook and go when I'm on the road. Now, the other uniform thing you'll see across the office are the chairs. These are the Sale by Herman Miller. We kind of got that white and gray look that looks really clean and I think matches the aesthetic of the wall, of the white desk. They're also extremely comfortable. Really like the looks of this mesh back right here. What's awesome with these is you can pretty much customize them any way you want down to the color, the legs, the feet. And I know it might seem crazy to invest any sort of money into a chair, but if this is something you do on a day-to-day -day basis where you're sitting down for long periods of time, then it's not that crazy. Moving this way, again, along with the tables, the chairs, we have 5K monitors across the board. So here at Ralphie's desk, we got that lamp, MacBook Pro docked in. Ralphie's weapon of choice right now is the Sony a6500, which is arguably the best 4K YouTube camera out right now. This is also a secret weapon, the Rode Video Micro, which is hard to beat for the price. Over here, we got a little Lego action. And if you haven't watched Ralphie's Legos videos, they are really, really good. You should go check them out. Ah. Curiosity Box by Vsauce. Shout out to Jake. I love you, man. 
So moving over here, this has kind of become like video gear world. We got C-stands and sliders and monitors, a crazy sky panel. I know some of this gear might be a little intimidating and overwhelming. Honestly, it's more of the stuff we use for the higher end and crazy production stuff, but really most of the time, uh, these airy low casters where we end up using, you could do some crazy good stuff with just a single LED, a bounce like this. And that's honestly what I use for most of my talking head stuff that you guys have seen in recent videos. So it's safe to say, as we've gotten a little further into this video world, we finally upgraded some gear. For the longest time, honestly, we used Home Depot lights for like, I'd say three or four years. So don't feel intimidated if you see any of this crazy stuff because you can do some really spectacular stuff with budget gear. Closing it up over here, this is uh, Mr. Matt. As we're recording right now, I saw this sweet transition. Get ready for it. Bam. So if that's not enough to entertain you, and maybe pique your interest, you should probably go watch that video while this truck outside here interrupts me. <laughs> Geek Squad, man. It's a Geek Squad, dude. <laughs> Geek Squad, you screwed me again. $200 to change a hard drive. How do you sleep at night? So closing out Matt's desk is very similar to mine in the sense we've got the Pegasus, he's got those Atom Artist 3s, which are phenomenal. And then again here, just closing out the matching desk set. We got the LG Ultrafine 5K display, ready to go at any given time to dock a MacBook Pro into. Now, before we move on, shout out to Dude Perfect for making us waste many, many hours shooting baskets and not making videos. Also, before I forget you guys yell at me, those Disney posters, found those on Etsy, printed them at Costco where they did the canvas, the frame, everything. Not sure if they're still available, but if they are, I will link them down below. Moving over to the Ikea case of doom this is actually meant to be a closet but we've turned it into a gear container we've actually had this for a couple years now that's a lot of batteries on the flip side actually you want to know what too many usb cables looks like look at rat's nest we've kind of got it organized some splinter action lightning micro usb usb c thunderbolt 3 Lenses galore. And then this mess, and this mess has kind of become like the tech under 50, 2500 kind of testing area where I'll just go on these Amazon rabbit holes and add many, many, many things to my cart, order them, test them out to see if they make a video. And that's kind of where they live. Hey man, what are you in my mouth? Continuing along, this is some kitchen stuff, not really anything that interesting. Water, half an eaten cookie. No pairs, unfortunately. This here is kind of like the little entertainment, get around together, watch some YouTube video center, home to the Google Home, couple Xbox controllers, TV, another really awesome speaker for name, and then the Amazon Echo right here. Now this guy right here is actually from Ikea and it is extremely useful in terms of being like a gear cart. So we got this power extension kind of mounted here. So that's not going anywhere. This is probably my favorite extension cable from Blue Lounge because it's blue, really easy to see and not miss in the massive amounts of red action cable land. It's a magnet, so Jesse would approve. And that's about it. Now, if we go over here, if you don't have a motion sensor in your life, you should because that is honestly one of the coolest things we've done here. It's not that important or that cool right now, but when it's night and there are no lights in here and you walk by, it's the best. So as far as upstairs, this has kind of become the entertainment center of sorts. Back in the day, that used to be actually my desk and speaker setup, but since then, we kind of went with a similar theme as we did downstairs with that dark gray wall. Say hello to Rich and the ice light. As far as the TV goes, we got that beautiful curved OLED from LG. Tons of consoles. This has kind of become the game memorabilia area. Virtual Boy, holy crap. Here's actually one of my favorite pieces that I've used in a few different time-lapse shots, the Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt clock. Really, really cool. Shout out to the Bulls who are back and forth this year. Last but not least, we got this Halo Needler action. This is also part of uh, the Ultimate Xbox setup, so don't normally have this around, but you can check out why we got it in that video. Also, you might notice there's a closet back there that is just boxes and more <laughs> Nerf. Can I go check? No, we, nah, we can't show them that. 
They'll never come out of it alive. They'll never come out. Hey, hey, you son of a. So that wraps up the 2017 office tour. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to smash that like button. If you have any ideas or suggestions for the next tour, drop a comment down below or I'll post everything we talked about in this video along with this sweet shirt. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later. Guys, Jonathan here and welcome to the 2017 office tour. So by far, one of the biggest changes from the last office tour, which crazy enough was two years ago, is the giant wall behind me. Back then it was empty, pure white. It could be a little intimidating and overwhelming because of how massive it looked. But since then, we've painted it in this really nice dark gray color, which I love because it absorbs pretty much any color you throw at it. So this right here has kind of become the product table where we shoot a lot of the B-roll for the videos. Got a couple of target lamps in the back here, although there are some very similar ones on Amazon in case you're looking for a style like this. Now, as far as the lamps go, I'm sure by now you've seen them in many of my videos. They're both from Tommins. This is technically the newer model, whereas the white one has got that classic Toy Story Pixar action, but I really like the contrast, the black and the white. And then like I was talking about, the gray wall really absorbs the color. So I got a couple of hue bulbs 